Good morning. Good morning. We're waiting. Where are we, Kerry? Oh, we're at um, Sorrento, Sea Road Ferries at Sorrento, because we're going to Tasmania tonight. <laughs> the start of our Tasmania journey so so it's a bit of a boat day yeah we decided to catch this ferry over from Sorrento to Queenscliff yeah and then we'll it just saved going all the way back around through Melbourne and down to Geelong yeah from where we were coming from um, this little trip takes about 40 minutes we have done it before a couple of years ago in a car so for the motorhome and both of us this was 111 11, just for a one way yeah. trip and we'll check out Queenscliff, uh, kill a couple of hours there, maybe have lunch there. And then hang around in Geelong until we can get on the Spirit. So the trip tonight leaves at 9.30, but I think we can start boarding at about 7 o'clock tonight for the Spirit of Tassie. I'm sure everyone will be there at 6. Ma maybe. <laughs> and it, um, it's supposed to be really calm tonight, thank goodness, because the last few days the, been a nightmare. the swell's been huge and um, we've just been keeping an eye on it, so hopefully we'll have smooth sailings. Fingers crossed. Bye. Bye. Queenscliff and we're just going to go for a bit of a walk and the first thing we found was the best fish and chips in Victoria. There's lots of food choices right here when you get off the ferry. ferry. Uh, that's the Queenscliff Brewery and Distillery. Best fish and chips. Best fish and chips in the universe or all, all Victoria. Over the road, it looks like a little cafe across the park. Okay, don't know what this is, but it's a hell of a house. It's amazing. It can't be a house. <laughs> what is it? Oh, it's a Queenscliff Hotel. Oh, it's a hotel. Accommodation. But it doesn't look open. No, it doesn't. I'm going to say it's not open. It looks like a... Hotel. It's beautiful. It looks like something out of. I'll what's go, that? Hang on, I'll go and see if they're open. <laughs> I don't think it is. Run. You know that one with Jack Nicholson yeah. where he stays in the hotel? Yeah. I'm going to say no. No. That's an amazing house. Resting and refreshing. Yeah. Looking out the heads of Port Phillip Bay. That's where we'll be going later on. Not a bad place to relax and have, have a, lunch and have a little bit of a bit of a rest. Nap. <laughs> <laughs> Ready for waiting to board the Spirit of Tassie tonight. So we're going to make our way to Geelong right now. Now and um, just see if we can park and relax and wait until seven o'clock. We can start boarding. Cool. Yeah. For those interested, we're leaving on the Spirit of Tasmania on a 9.30 sail and you're allowed to check in two and a half hours before at seven o'clock. What time is it now? 25 to six. 25 to six <laughs> and oh, really look, it's, it's fine. There's not a lot of people here. I'll get out and show you in a minute, but we were in the parking area. Lots of public parking. Plenty of public parking right at the terminal at Geelong and um, 
Yeah, as we said, five thirty, people are already lined up. Yeah, in the in the line. So rather than waiting, we just um, move from the car park down into the line, turn off the motorhome, and still get in the back and do some work or whatever you need to do. It's really easy. On board um, pretty early. And Hopefully. That, yeah, and that way we can get something to eat because we don't have anything um, left, in our fridge. left in the fridge. We've turned the fridge off now and we're just about to give that a good clean out and we'll have dinner on board. Fruits and vegetables and honey and all the things that it tells you on your information in your ticket. But we had to turn our fridge off, so... I thought we'd be on the ship now and being able to have something to eat. Shouldn't be too much longer though, but... You'll survive. If, if you want to eat... Um, <coughs> Go to the cafe in the terminal. Yeah, like we were actually parked in the terminal for... Half an hour. Half an hour to an hour. Half an hour. But I didn't want to go in because I didn't know how long we might be there for. But they mentioned it over the loudspeaker that yeah. um, go back to your vehicles. People had to, that were in there had to go back to their vehicles. So that might have been a good option to go in there and get something to eat, maybe. So that's just a little tip. To being one of the first people to come through the gate and move up to here, <laughs> Lane One is last to get on. Oh my God. We've, We've been waiting an hour and a half. An hour and a half. And from here. Everybody else is on. I, I don't know if it's because we're in a motorhome in the last two lanes. So lane one and lane two. We're caravans and motorhomes. Caravans and motorhomes. And they're the last to get on. So maybe don't worry about being here too early. early if you're in a motorhome. Um, because we just sat here literally for an hour and a half after coming through. And then they let all the other lanes go before us. <laughs> so it's now 8.30. Uh, we're still waiting to get on and we sail at 9.30. Hungry! Kind of hungry. <laughs> <laughs> That's how many cars are left? About six. <laughs> Hang on, ready? This is the lounge area. Busy, busy. Everyone's, in, everyone's enjoying a sherbet <laughs> or a wine. People that got on the boat before us. <laughs> and now there's no more food. Oh my god. <laughs>
what else is there? Yeah. I'm going to say there's food down here. Oh, it's not the way you can get the... Yeah. So this is deck nine where they had entertainment last night I think we're in bed not sleeping and this is where we ate last night over there pizza stuff like that Deck 10, we didn't come up here last night, but this is where the coffee is. TVs, snack machines. More lounges. And playstations. Nice. So, that's, you got to go out Got to go out on deck nine, take the stairs up to deck ten. Didn't even know it was here, but we smelt the coffee. Devonport still. Yeah, we've been here for two nights after getting off the Spirit of Tassie. Um, we needed a bit of a rest because we didn't sleep much I on the trip over. I didn't sleep at all. <laughs> was and was a bit terrified. Yeah, it was very rough. Um, I'm sure it's not like that all the time. I think it's luck of the draw. So anyway, we've recovered and we've um, had a look around Devonport. Beautiful spot and we did... Right on the beach. We've yeah, done we a couple of stuff. We showed um, a little bit of that. So uh, Kerry and I just walked up this street in Devonport and we found a house we'd uh, like to buy. <laughs> oh lordy. Your kind of house? Oh yeah, that's beautiful. I uh, fully renovated, fully repainted and for sale. How many bedrooms? 11. 11 bedrooms, nice. Six bathrooms, yeah. 11 bedrooms. Yeah. Big enough for the whole family. Well, yes, yeah, so I... All right, toss of a coin, where are we going? So there's two things that we want to start with. Um, and Tasmania apparently is so amazing for accommodation that we don't really need to worry yeah. about booking anything. So today... Gonna wing it. Yeah, today we're either gonna go down to Mole Creek yep. to look at some caves, or we're gonna go across to Launceston to do the... Um, like the walk around, uh, maybe stay there tonight, walk around the, um, like there's a bridge and, uh, I forget what it's called. All right, so, heads. Heads will go to Mole. All right, and tails will go to Launceston. Yeah. 
Heads. Heads it is. Okay. So we're going to go to we're Mole going Creek. To Mole Creek. And we just have to work out the best way to get there. There's a few different ways, but we'll see. And then we'll find the, somewhere to stay. The navigator shall work it out. I will. <laughs> okay. Bye. Bye. Okay, Miss Kerry, where are we going? We just realised, we just realised we haven't had our second coffee yet, and I've gone about five minutes out of Devonport, and I saw a sign that said, Anvers Chocolate Factory, Chocolate Factory, <laughs> and cafe, coffee, coffee, yeah. and chocolate. The guy at the um, place we stayed at did give us a brochure on it, but it was a bit far out of town to walk to. Um, Lovely old house. Yeah, so if you're driving past, they do breakfast, and coffee, and obviously chocolate. And oh, we're in the we're in the forest. It's beautiful grounds. Here's the house. All right, coffee time. Num. Well, wow, this old house is the cafe. It's beautiful. And the most important part is over there, the chocolate shop. Hi, Kerry. Hi. What have we got here? Coffee and some little chocolate samples. What do you call this one? Coffee. <laughs> Coffee. Let's go to the I, tasting room. I, I, can't, I, can't, I can't turn it off. Let's push the top one. There's chickens and eggs. Beautiful. Do not climb on the cows. Okay. It says don't climb on the cows. And now, and now, where are we going? To the cheese factory. Say, say it again. Cheese. Ash Grove cheese. It's called a dairy door instead of a cellar door. Yeah, I think I it's going to be amazing. I don't think we've ever been to a dairy door. And the cows are just there. Yeah, there's thousands fresh. of them. It'll be fresh. And they all look very happy. 